I don't eat many tortillas, but when I do, this is what I eat. And I don't eat like three or five like I used to. Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I usually buy for my groceries. We have to start the year good and finish it good. Okay, that's the goal for this year to stick to your goal. Today is Sunday and excuse everything. I don't really get ready on Sundays because I'm so busy on the go, training, grocery shopping, cleaning, just getting myself together before the week starts. So today I went to Aldi. Uh, usually the stores that I go to is Aldi, grocery outlet, sometimes um, Walmart and Sprouts and Trader Joe's. I go to a lot, but I don't go to them every week. One that I do go to every week is Aldi, which um, is mainly what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys a little a few things from Grocery Outlet and from Trader Joe's. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and I will definitely make, make more. We, let's go ahead and get started. So before you go to the store, I recommend like you check what's in your fridge. Throw away whatever is not good. And then just buy new things. Make a list. Really important thing. For protein, I do buy chicken breast. Real chicken breast. But um, I also buy this chicken that is really helpful for since i'm so busy all the time running around you know i still want to make healthy options and make quick foods like healthy fast foods so i buy this one from aldi it's 5.99 for one pound of chicken which is good because it's, it's already grilled it's already cooked you just microwave it stir fry it whatever and it's chicken breast okay so that's really good um it doesn't have many ingredients it has a really good good flavor so I really recommend this for when you're on the go of course you know try to cook real chicken but when you don't have time this is fine i also bought this turkey bacon i usually don't buy turkey bacon but i was craving it this time and this is uncured turkey bacon um and it's less fat than regular bacon so i feel like i'm gonna add this to like my egg whites my omelets or like a sandwich or something it's only 60 calories per slice five protein and too fat which is really really low fat another protein that i got for this week for these two weeks shrimp i love shrimp it's like a bad rumor about shrimp that cholesterol but obviously you don't you're not gonna overdo it you're not gonna eat shrimp every single day i eat a lot of mariscos like uh like mexican seafood like ceviche and all that but i feel like having this like as a stir fry or like maybe in the oven with some turkey bacon wrapped i have so many ideas so i bought shrimp this week Okay, so these two I already had in my fridge. I bought them last week, but I haven't cooked them, so I'm going to show you guys. This is also from Aldi, and it's turkey meatballs. Sometimes I want to switch it up and not, you know, eat chicken the whole week. I get a lot of questions like, what do I do? Like, I'm tired. I get tired of the same food. I don't, but I wanted to try something different. And this, these are already cooked. Of course, it's better if you make your own turkey meatballs because you know what ingredients you put in it. But this is not bad at all. It's only 160 calories per, per six meatballs seven carb 13 protein and nine fat so i feel like with like zucchini noodles or like the um, edamame noodles it'll be great so i'm gonna try this out also salmon i'm a really 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 big fan of salmon and i buy this one from aldi as well it's wild caught yeah it's really good like in the oven or ah, stir fry whatever it's good also one more thing Bought tofu. i used to eat tofu a lot but i and i used to do meatless monday which i want to start again doing meatless mondays basically on mondays i don't need any type of meat or beef or it. usually i don't really eat meat but like chicken and stuff like that uh so i'm gonna cook this i love baking this i'm gonna try it in the air fryer guys if you don't have an air fryer i really recommend you invest in it i'm not sponsored by any brand but i love air fryers they're like so quick and they just make the food taste good in my opinion so yeah tofu okay so i think that's it for protein and of course eggs i eat a lot of egg whites every single day i love egg whites i eat like four egg whites a day and like or one egg and three egg whites depending on you know the day my macros which i am tracking again I so now veggies i love buying like um fresh veggies however like i said i'm not really home i don't have as much time to cook as before so either i meal prep or either i just buy frozen which they're still good i mean the only ingredient is literally broccoli cauliflower and carrots so it's good so this one uh i just literally put it in my in like a, a container with some chicken and bam it's done i take some rice cakes or some brown rice or whatever i'm gonna add in it and perfect perfect meat lunch so i got that i got this one for i love brussels sprouts 
Um, so this I'm just gonna put them in the air fryer or the oven. The way I like to cook all this is with garlic and sea salt. That's like always. That's how I cook everything. Of course, broccoli. I love broccoli, even though it makes me bloated, but I'm still gonna eat it. Also, I have this burnt, oh, not butter squash, just spaghetti squash, which you can also make with um, turkey meatballs. You just put it in the oven and then open it and just take out the spaghetti, which is actually a veggie. And I put like some tomato reduced sugar because believe it or not, those sauces, like tomato sauces for pastas, they have sugar. So just be cautious, learn how to read ingredients. It's really important to know what you're eating check out like if it has like a million ingredients don't even do it just stick to real food but yeah just watch out i think that's it for veggies um like i said it changes i buy carrots like fresh food i love celery to snack on with like hummus and that's it for veggies this week and then i got fruit of course i got blueberries i didn't get strawberries because i have some in my fridge and then i also buy frozen ones because I like to add this to my Greek yogurt. If you know, you know. If you have been following me, you know that I'm obsessed with um, yogurt bowls. So I like adding frozen fruit sometimes, sometimes fresh. You know, I'm bipolar, whatever I'm feeling that day. Fruit, I think that's all I got this week, surprisingly. I got avocados because I have avocado toast every day. I love avocado toast and I love to add avocado to almost every meal which is really good healthy fats. So also got Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, as I was mentioning, I love to make my yogurt bowls. And this one, I just mix it with some cottage cheese, which I already have in my fridge. I get the 2% to lower the calories a little bit. And I add stevia, fruit, almonds, whatever I have, sometimes like a little bit, like a piece of a protein bar. Uh, the power crunch bars are really good. So yeah, and that's my little dessert when I'm craving something sweet and any fruit, that's just perfect water of course i am trying to gain muscle right now i'm trying to get my gains i'm trying to be a little bit thicker i bought oatmeal to add more healthy carbs um i'm trying to do it the good way i don't want to do like a dirty bulk where you know i'm just eating junk and eating all the time i'm gonna eat more sweet potatoes more healthy carbs complex carbs uh, you know that's my goal eat more to grow and hopefully i'm successful and if you guys want to know more about this little journey i'm doing for myself let me know and i'll be glad to Tell you guys all about it so i think that was it for aldi also grocery outlet um i already went last week so i'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of what i got rice cakes i found this bag it has 14 bags and it was 2.99 guys that's crazy so it's these rice cakes they have like caramel they have cheese they have ranch and they're so good um i like that they're already portioned for you because i bought the big bags but you, it's really hard to you know keep your your portions to what it is so this one's only 100 calories and it just they all have different macros depending on the flavor so this is a really good snack and it is processed but you know if you're gonna eat hot cheetos or doritos i'd rather you know eat that because at least it's like brown rice or a little bit healthier so i don't eat that every single day but just to show you guys how i kind of substitute a few things so that's what it's all about not to eat boring because you're not gonna last no one lasts eating the same things in boring foods forever you have to be realistic and buy exactly what you know you're gonna eat just customize your meals to you okay moving on i'm getting off track i also bought spinach because i like to add spinach on my um, omelets my uh, smoothies my protein smoothies and all that spinach a really good way to get your veggies in i bought a milk there because i don't usually buy it there i buy it at aldi but since i was out i had to get it and this is just vanilla unsweetened on the milk okay make sure it's unsweetened because you're gonna save some calories and sugar so i got this I got this dark chocolate with almonds because let's be real like i crave chocolate okay i'm a normal person just like you are especially when i'm on my period like i just want to eat chocolate so bad so this one's no sugar added and it's simply light that's what it's, that's the brand simply light and it's pretty good you know it's not too high in sugar actually it has zero sugar wow and it tastes really good so really recommend this it was like two bucks for this bar obviously this bar lasts me like uh, over two weeks because i just get like a little bit little whenever i crave a little bit i don't like eat the whole bar no and from trader joe's i also like buying these corn tortillas because they have like four ingredients which is amazing also two tortillas is 130 calories 27 carb and three protein i don't eat many tortillas but when i do this is what i eat and i don't eat like three or five like i used to ten 
um i just eat like one or two whenever i'm really craving you know i'm mexican and i still crave these foods which is normal and it's okay also an, a seasoning that you guys i always post on my instagram which if you're not following me you should definitely follow me everything with the bagel seasoning this is live this is so good and avocado toast i just sprinkle it wherever like i feel like the food's too bland and i need a little bit more flavor this is basically like what's on top of the everything bagel but like in a seasoning form i don't know it's just so good you just gotta try it it's, it's right here something else i forgot from grocery outlet is this bread this is the only type of bread i eat and buy even though i'm trying to gain muscle i don't really like to eat, eat bread that's like 30 grams of carbs or like 40 grams of carbs i'd rather have like three slices of this like have more food for less if that makes sense so this one is low carb veggie it's by the brand oasis that's how you pronounce it i think and this one's only 149 at grocery outlet i've seen this one at sprouts for like four dollars which is crazy but when i see it in a grocery alley because they don't have it all the time i buy like four and freeze them because never know you never know when they're gonna be out of stock this one's only 50 calories per slice seven carb one fiber and four protein which is amazing so i always have this in the morning this is what i make my avocado toast if you guys are wondering what kind of bread i buy this is the what one i buy and it's sprouted it's like all sprouted so you know it's really good other things that i haven't bought that i'm probably gonna go back to buy tomorrow sweet potatoes i, I like to add, um, buy zucchini um like the cheese strings there's a lot of things i forgot but this is just what i bought right now and what i wanted to show you guys so like i said you buy things you like and you know you're gonna eat and you're nutritious and buy little healthier treats so you can have here and there um get rid of all the junk food in your house that's like my number one tip and just you know do it for you just know that all this is worth it and healthy food and nutritious food should not taste boring or bad you know make smart choices and research things i don't know hopefully this helps you when you go buy i inspire you to go buy new things remember that this is a lifestyle change this is not like buying food to go on a diet i hate the word diet it's just don't use it throw it away so that is it i'm hoping i'm not forgetting anything Thank you so much for taking time and watching this video i hope you got new ideas and i hope you subscribe uh, i would be so thankful to you and thank you for all of you guys that have been following me forever i really appreciate every single one of you and welcome to all my new subscribers i love you all and remember to do what's right know what's easy see you guys in the next video bye